Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Dan. And welcome to a socially distanced Yu-Gi-Oh! News. That's right. First up, we've got a really cool Yami Yugi statue from Kotobukiya. It's a highly detailed sculpt, it's got a really vibrant paint job, and it captures all the fine details of the character. It even has a removable dual disc and jacket for a wider range of display options. However you want Yami Yugi to look, you can create the look you like. But that's not all. Kotobukiya is also offering Seto Kaiba. Showing off his trademark coat, Kaiba comes to life as he stands at the ready, gripping his dual disc and looking this way with a sharp glance. And Dan, you're not going to believe this, but Kotobukiya is also producing a Dark Magician Girl statue. What? So everyone watching this knows Dark Magician Girl is a card in Yugi's deck and is the female equivalent of the Dark Magician. She comes with two interchangeable faces, one wide-eyed and the other one Winking. All of these statues are PVC. They are all one seventh scale. So Yugi is about nine and a half inches tall. Kaiba is a little over ten and a half inches tall, that tall man. And Dark Magician Girl is a little over seven inches tall. Check the video description below for ordering information. How to, let me do a little bit of math here. Mm. That would make Kaiba 70 feet tall. 70. Three and a half inches tall. How tall is that? That is, he is six one. That is Ooh. a tall king. That is a tall king, my friends. It's his boots. Kotobukiya actually continues their line of statues based on your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh characters with Joey Wheeler. Standing at just over nine inches tall in one seventh scale, Joey is a great addition to the Yu-Gi-Oh Artifacts J statue series. He features removable cards and a dual disc. They're also making Yami Merrick. <laughs> Everything from his characteristic hairstyle and the brilliance of his scarf to little minor details such as his earrings have been beautifully crafted so that you can enjoy the figure from every angle. Every angle! His left arm is replaceable with two interchangeable arm parts with or without the dual disc. In addition, a bonus interchangeable face part is also included. Just look at that smile. Speaking of Yugi's rivals, the next character to join the Art FXJ series is Yami Bakura. From his distinctive hair, evil smirk, and his slender body, to the fine details in the creases of his clothes and the tips of his fingers holding the cards, everything has been sculpted with great care. Up next, we've got this Yugi Muto Monster Pin Set. These are exclusive and limited edition enamel pin sets by pinclub.com. The Yugi Monster Set features a Yugi pin, the Millennium Puzzle, and eight of Yugi's monsters. These monsters will only be available in this set and will not be sold as single pins. Go to pinclub.com, that's pin-club.com, or check the video description for the link. And now, 24 karat gold-plated Egyptian God Monster cards. These highly detailed, collectible 24 karat gold-plated god cards are limited to only 5,000 worldwide. <laughs> I want one already. They are embossed on both sides to include the phrase, It's time to duel! Each card is individually numbered and supplied in the presentation box along with the display stand. They are available now. Check the video description for purchase details. We've got a Yami Marek Funko Pop. What can I say? Another awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! pop figure. Yami Merrick's Millennium Rod, Jewelry, and Bracelet all feature metallic paint, and this one is a Toy Temple exclusive, so check the video description for the link. And if that's not enough for you, there's also some Samsung phone themes. If you have a Samsung phone, check out the Samsung Galaxy theme store for a variety of Yu-Gi-Oh! themes, wallpapers, and icons. My infant son will be very sad to not be my background anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're waiting for some TCG news, so here it is. We got the Phantom Rage Booster Set. It introduces a hundred brand new cards, as well as a new version of Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. It introduces the brand new Mutant World Premiere theme. If you don't have enough gold cards by now, we have something called Maximum Gold just for you. Introducing brand new Premium Gold Rare Cards featuring alternate artwork of popular monsters. It includes a mix of popular iconic cards as well as powerful tournament mainstays. And the last thing for you in TCG news, we've got the Speed Duel Battle City Box. It's designed Woo! for up to eight players to jump into speed duels with ready to play decks. It features characters from the Battle City arc of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters anime. 
and it includes secret rare versions of many signature cards, including the Egyptian God cards. Hey, uh, Sam, speaking of things I wasn't invited to, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, reunion panel, how was that? How was New York Comic Con yes. this year? Well, uh, due to circumstances in the world right now, I don't have to explain them. New York Comic Con was held virtually, and they had a bunch of fantastic panels that you can watch right now on their YouTube channel, including the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters reunion panel hosted by yours truly. And I'm not trying to brag, but it's in the top 10 most watched panels of all of New York Comic Con, so thank you, fans. Uh, it had Dan Green, Eric Stewart, Amy Birnbaum, Wayne Grayson, Greg Abbey, and Darren Dunstan, all of them together on the panel. It was so much fun. We just riffed and riffed and riffed. And here's the thing. The New York Comic Con version was a cut down of the panel. There is much, much, much more of the panel that was not aired, and we are going to release the extended panel right here on the Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube. There's so much to discover about how these actors know each other, their ways into the industry, their relationships with, with each other. It's really fascinating. Maybe, I don't want to spoil the extended version for anybody, but maybe you are in the extended version. What? Wait, what? Really? How? Wait, no. I am? No, no, you're not. Hey, Sam. Yeah. I got some really good news about the Vrains dub. Lay it on me. Vrains is officially on Pluto. Oh, man. That is so cool. When do you think it's going to come to Earth? <laughs> no. Pluto TV, the app. Duh. Pluto TV is featuring over 650 episodes from the franchise, including Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. So everyone who's been asking us, where can I watch it? That's where. Pluto. TV. That's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook page and Yu-Gi-Oh!.com for more info on the topics we discussed. Check out the video description for relevant links. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.